and, and I'm saying... I, I, then I, I say, sir, that you don't know what you're talking about. Really? Yes, because you can't be a single example of hateful con uh, content, not even one tweet. And yet you claimed that the hateful content was high. Well... That's a false. No, what I claimed... You just lied. What, no, no, what I claimed was... Hello, guys, and welcome back to the channel. Elon Musk defends Andrew Tate, then goes on to smack the angry journalist in the face with the truth. If you haven't seen this video yet, it has gone viral, and it is pretty hilarious. I will give my opinion on it, and I would love to hear from you guys. But let's get right into this video right here. Twitter CEO Elon Musk blasted the BBC reporter during last Tuesday's interview. It was rushed, I guess, and that's what Elon likes to do. He likes to just do things spur of the moment. But at this point, Musk was talking about looming layoffs and all of that when the guy accused him of hate speech on Twitter and why he's not in, on it. And he's like, what hate speech are you talking about? Musk asked. And he says, I mean, you use Twitter, don't you? Do you see a rise in hate speech or just pure anecdotal? So he's like, I don't see, uh, Elon Musk's like, I don't see any hate speech. And so this guy's accusing, what is this guy's name? Uh, James Clayton. He's like, I don't ever use it. And then he's like, oh, because there's so much hate speech on it. And then Elon's like, can you name one incident of hate speech? And Clayton's like, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, I'm sure there's some on there. Right. Now, whether whether it has a my feed or not. Give me one example. I mean, I, right. And Literally, you can, can you name something one. like the, the uh, Strategic Dialogue uh, Institute in the, in the UK. They will say that. So you, they, Look, it's, people will say all sorts of nonsense. I'm literally asking for a right. single example, and you can't name one. Right. And as, as I've already said, I don't use that feed. But let's, well, then how let, would you know? That I don't... And I personally, I don't use Twitter, so I couldn't tell you either way. Uh, I'm going to maybe start posting on there. But he's like, give me one. And he's like, honestly, I don't, I don't actually use the feed anymore because I don't particularly like it, Clayton said of Twitter for your future. And actually, a lot of people, he's like, all my friends say the same things that they don't, they're not on Twitter anymore because of the hate speech. And then he, he was like, gotcha. He's like, you're a liar. He's like, name one, name one thing. And then that's where this video comes in. And it makes a classic moment of Elon Musk just smashing the reporter. I, I, then I, I say, sir, that you don't know what you're talking about. Really? Yes, because you can't be a single example of hateful con content, not even one tweet. And yet you claimed that the hateful content was high. Well, that's a false. No, what I claimed. You just lied. What, no. Elon's like, you cannot give me one single example of a hateful content, not even one tweet, and you claimed that the hateful content was high. This is false. You just lied. You're a liar. And for me, I would never accuse Elon Musk without like ammunition. I'm sure there has to be something out there where there's some sort of hate speech on Twitter, but this guy was either ill-prepared or he didn't know who was who he was getting in the boxing ring with. And he's like, you literally, this is what Elon said, you literally experienced more hateful speech now than ever. That's why you let, can you give me one example? And this guy just has like egg on his face. That's what the chief twit was challenging the reporter on. And he's like, if there's something sexist on it, do you think it should be banned? Came, Clayton replied, I'm not saying anything. I don't know. And so the BBC reporter He's like, let me, let's just drop it. Let's just talk about something else. And Elon just keep kept challenging him. And so the alleged unexpected interview with the British outlet comes as Twitter faces mounting pressure overseas to crack down on hate speech and illegal content on the platform. And I know Twitter was sued a while ago for like millions of dollars for not doing anything about illegal activity on the website. But I think Elon Musk is trying to cut back a lot of it. And what do you guys think about this? Um, then Elon Musk and goes on to defend Andrew Tate. Here's a little bit of a clip of that. Some people have is that a lot of people were brought back. I mean, some people were brought back who uh, were previously banned for spreading things like uh, QAnon conspiracies. You have people like Andrew Tate who were brought back, who were previously uh, banned for things like hate speech. Do you think you prioritize freedom of, of speech over misinformation and hate speech. Well, you know, who's to say that something, something is misinformation? Um, 
Who is the arbiter of that? Because um, yeah, so the point I'm trying to make is that the BBC itself has, at times, published things that are false. Do you agree that that has occurred? I, 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 I'm quite sure the BBC have uh, said things before that turn out to not be true. Right. Uh, it, it, it's whatever it is, hundred year history. I'm quite sure. Yes. Even if you aspire to be accurate, there are times when it will, you you will not be. I personally personally don't follow Tate or Elon Musk. I enjoy the SpaceX and what Elon's doing with that. Andrew Trait is just somebody who says things that get clicks, and that's what I think he is. I think 50% of the stuff he says is true, and then the other stuff is just like, whatever. And so it's just interesting to see Elon Musk defend Andrew Tate, and we'll see where this ends up going with Tate and with Elon Musk. Uh, it seems like they are friends, and so, yeah. What do you guys think of this interview? Did Elon Musk just thrash this, what is his name, Clayton guy? Or did Clayton have a good interview? I watched, it's an hour-long interview. I was bored, so I listened to I listened to the interview while I was in the, uh, in, in the gym. So if you get bored and you want to listen to it, it's just Elon Musk for an hour just railing on this guy. It's pretty funny. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video on Elon Musk. And Elon Musk defends Andrew Tate, then slams the angry journalist. Peace. I'm out.